ever wondered if there's a simple way to retrieve and update data from Autotask using the API in PowerShell? Well, guess what? There is. Hi everyone, my name is Chris Tim and I'm from Sandela Consulting. In this video, I'm going to talk about how easy it is to pull some data from Autotask and update it using the API and PowerShell. Now, before we start, I'm not a PowerShell expert or a developer, and there may be a much better way to do this, but it's always worked for me and it's always done what I've needed it to do. I cannot take any credit for the script as it was given to me by somebody a lot cleverer than me. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to start by creating an API user. So over here, you can see we have an API user. We've got our username, we've got our password set, and one of the most important things is we have our tracking identifier. So when you're setting up these API users, because this is gonna be a custom piece of code, um, I, I need to select the custom box here, which will give me this API tracking identifier. Once I have that information, I can now go into PowerShell and I can start to uh, get the script working. So I normally use PowerShell ISE because I find it a lot easier to use. But of course, you can use any kind of PowerShell um, uh, application that you like. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to start by installing the Autotask module. So you would simply type in here, install Autotask or install module Autotask, and you simply click on the play button and what this will do is it will go ahead and it will install the entire Autotask module for you. Okay, and this is the module that it's gonna pull down from the PowerShell gallery and you can find more information on it below. Okay, so once it's done its thing, it's now ready to be used. So all we simply need to do is code that's going to allow us to and manipulate the API. So here is that code. So you can see uh, very quickly, all we're doing is we're creating a function. We're putting in those details that we created earlier on. So this is our tracking identifier, our username and our password. And then very simply, we're just writing a little function here as a login function. Um, what it's gonna do is it's gonna go check to see if you're already logged in. Um, if you are, it's gonna tell you you're logged in. Otherwise it's gonna go and initiate this login function. So let's actually go ahead and do this. So very simply, you can see because the first time I've done this, it says logging in. And what it's gonna do is go ahead and update this disk cache, and it's gonna go ahead and get all of this information. This process doesn't take very long to do. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll speed up the video at this point uh, so that you don't have to sit and watch this. And there you go, it's now done. So now that we know it's done, uh, if we look up here under the modules, we can simply see uh, that if we click on the Autotask module, these are all of uh, the commandlets that we can use to find this information inside um, Autotask. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this get ATWS account, and we're gonna go and pull some information from the account. So let's go ahead and do that. So very simply in here, I'm gonna type get ATWS account, um, then I'm going to say minus account name and in the account name field, I'm basically going to use, uh, I'm going to use Justice League. And what that does is it pulls back the information on Justice League. So here you can see it's gone ahead and it's pulled back all of the information about the customer, um, including the city, the state, the address, all of that kind of thing. So the fact that it's pulling back that information uh, is, is a good indication that of course, this is all working fine. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go into here in a new tab, and I'm actually gonna go now and, uh, and, and create an object so that we can pull some information out of this object and then we can go ahead and change it. So if we look at this, we'll see that the city in here is listed as Gotham. So I wanna change this to actually say Gotham City. And just to show you, if we actually click into the Justice League, you can see here it, the city is actually listed as Gotham. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're gonna start by creating a 
variable and into there we're going to um, we're going to input this object so we're going to do exactly the same thing that we had before so ATWS uh, account and then we're going to say minus account name and we're going to use the same company okay so once we've entered that information in there we can now use this object here to pull um, to pull information like the city for example so we're going to go uh, if we said you know uh, dollar company dot city and then we click the play button what you will see is that this returns gotham okay so very very easy way for us to pull out specific fields uh, within within this company information Okay, so let's go in now and say, well, what if we want to change this city to, to Gotham City? So very simply, what we're going to do is we're going to use this company again. And we're going to tell it that the city is going to be equal to this. In this case, we're going to change it to Gotham City. Oops. And then what we're going to do at this point, we're now going to, because we want to write something back in, so we want to write this word Gotham City back into this object what we're simply going to do in here is we're now going to use the set and if we look all the way down here um, actually if I just type it in here so if we use the set ATWS account you will see that down here we have that information um, about the account it's somewhere up here uh, set ATWS account there you go you can see the set ATWS account. So what we're going to do is go set ATWS account. And then we're going to say that we want to input whatever is inside this object. So we're going to input object. And we're simply going to go dollar company. Okay. And when we run this, it'll basically go find the city called Gotham. Okay, and now if I actually go ahead and just down here, um, or oh, actually, sorry, if I go back and I just remove all of the rest of this stuff and I tell it to just pull the city information, you can now see that it's updated the city to Gotham City. If I go back in and I actually update the account directly within Autotask, what you will see at this point is again, you will see uh, it's now been updated to Gotham City. So that's it. It really is as easy as that to read and write from the API using PowerShell. So thank you for watching this video. If you like what you see, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to this channel. Um, there'll be a lot more of these kinds of videos coming very shortly.